Hello geeks and uh, welcome back to City Skylines and another episode of my Lakewood Adventures and we're back in our wonderful city that we're building and um, last time we were like um, quite busy mainly with garbage we had like a big garbage problem because I started like unloading all my like uh, full landfills into these incinerators which uh, like overload those incinerators and in combination with like uh, the huge production of carpets from my citizens and my industry like uh, that was a bit catastrophic now it's more manageable we still had some dead people uh, hopefully my like uh, heroes are going to catch up with all the dead before pe a lot of people start leaving <laughs> But the situation is uh, salvageable, the situation is manageable, and uh, all is good. And uh, we were focusing also here, we were playing a bit with water. Sometimes the water here goes really up, sometimes it goes really down. It's really strange, I don't know what to do, like here, for sure here I see that the water is not very up. And these guys here are out of water, which is uh, wow pretty amazing hopefully it will go back to normal I guess like look here now is down again it's coming on tidal waves I, I, I don't know it behaves really really bad uh, but what I did for now is I have this in policies here tab I implemented for now universal a universal recycling policy this costs us quite a lot but uh, what we managed to do is we reduced the garbage production to 121,000 units per week so now we're like well within our like uh, processing capacity of it we also by the way managed already to have one landfill empty and what I'm doing now I just turned off these landfills and uh, for them not to work and just emptying them one by one on my incinerator plants until everything is empty and then of course when everything is empty hopefully the capacity of the incinerator plants will be greater also you'll notice here i turned off one electricity factory on coal power plant uh, because really we produce a lot of electricity right now and even with one power plant off quite good so i'm trying to manage my budget a bit here we are plus three thousand and more right now per week which is fairly good but because of this so universal recycling policy it got reduced a bit my budget but of course we're planning um at least i'm planning to by the time that we are the, the situation with garbage is more manageable to remove some like uh, recycling from certain areas i don't want to keep it to universal universal and uh, probably like my industry should have it and probably my like um commercial uh, regions like uh, should also have recycling I don't know. By the way, write me in the comments if you want which 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 like uh, type produces the most garbage. Actually, like is it like the residential? Is it the commercial? The industrial? I don't know how to check about it actually. Mm. I mean, we can check about efficiency and we can check how much garbage are accumulated. But what about the garbage production? Anyway, the point is that we salvage the situation a bit, so that's good. I see now that again my demand from residential is skyrocketing. And uh, what I wanted to do is since we like went here and developed this nice area, might be that we want to finish this. What I was trying to do here was trying to raise a bit the value of this area. So might be a good idea that we create something nice here this I shouldn't destroy <laughs> okay I want the road and uh, let's just try to make this and probably just go straight here like that to give a nice and round the end in this area here so here we can zone in I zoned in this like a nice okay here the, it turns out really beautiful that I left these gaps here how it's going like that. I like this, that they're not everything on top of each other. Looks a bit more premium, let's say. Right, and might be a good idea here. It would be nice. Now we have a good chance to add some beautiful pathway, let's say, like this path probably. 
So let's just do if we do like path. Can we do path between them? Because if we can do path between them, yeah, oh my. So if we can do paths between them, come on. Like that and like that. Then we can make a nice pathway to encircle everything. Let's turn off the zoning to be able to see exactly how the path looks like because this path are these paths are paths with trees. So we could go like that and then we could just come here and say like do like this and like that and like that and like that and here and here and uh that would look beautiful. Like this and like that. Well, we made really nice and cute pathways around our like... Um, uh, our commercial area here. Okay, we left a bit that guy out, but I really don't want to destroy this beautiful arch that I really worked a bit as you can see. Probably you, will, you were able to see this from the previous episode. But, yeah, I mean, this is good right now, and this looks nice. I really like how it came up to be here. It's really beautiful. And, uh, random as well. So, let's go ahead and zone in some more, like, residential. So, let's try again to zone in. Let's try to see if we can get, like, some perfect square houses. Let it run. And for sure we have to connect the electricity because people will start complaining soon. Yep. They already start complaining. So when we see houses being built, then we start the next four here and the next four here. And let's try to do this here also. To try to make that like the perfect like uh, squares, let's say. Oh, why they don't have electricity now? Okay, because it was destroyed here. So this should go all the way to here. And this should go all the way to here. Now everybody will be happy. And everyone is happy. Okay, so let's keep zoning residentials. Zoning residentials. So let's put one nice house here and another here in the corner. Now we'll make it a bit, little bit more detailed than I've used to do it with you guys. Hopefully it will give some better results in how the houses are looking. Well, not that I have a pretty big complaint about these houses here. They look pretty beautiful to me. Maybe another house like uh, here. And another one here. And here. And here. And we can reserve this area here, which right now there is some ugly cables for a beautiful little tiny park, which would fit perfectly even with the cables. Uh, let's have the entrance probably from here. Let's leave some space probably for like some pathways as well. What about a different park? Yeah, we could put different parks as well. Could pick uh, like a park complex or something even. It's a dog park. Okay, but should we spend a lot right now in a park? Maybe not so much. This is a really big one, actually. And what about this one? Let's just put this one that fits nicely. Oh, and oh my god, I just... Oh my god, I will have to move it. Yeah, and transform the other side, guys. Oh no, 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 no. I'm just paying right now for no reason. Uh, there. Yeah, it's correct. I paid a bit more, but it's correct. <laughs> So we have this nice park, let's add some paths. Like, let's try to make it look a bit more into the environment. Blend in a bit like this. 
maybe something leading like all the way here you know like just connecting this area with some pathway maybe somebody will use it it's a beautiful little park it will help like grow their value here so already the value here is seems to skyrocketing these are already on reaching level 3 and I see like houses leveling up here. They are by the beach in the seafront. This is beautiful. We have to work out on our seafront, but first I have to understand how water works and when these will calm down eventually. I see that water slowly comes back here as well. Come comes back there. And here also, but it looks very tidal to me. Okay, this area like uh, really starts like going in very beautifully. The Barlow Heights. Let's extend it also, the area of responsibility. Just to make sure that we include everything here. Yep. It's really nice, really nice area here. And we keep having like a lot of residential demand, huge residential demand. And for that we have to do something very fast. And I guess what we have to do is... Uh, like uh probably develop some more of this area here or find somewhere else to develop um that's a good question actually what i really want to do what i really want to do is uh, this area here is really i don't know it's very controversial to me in my in my head i don't know how you liked it or if you think it was the correct idea to build just hmm, some commercial area here According to specializations, we could... Oh, uh, that's wrong. Where is it? Where is it? Boom. Uh, according to specializations, we could have leisure or tourism. Tourism causes noise pollution and attracts tourists. And here, causes noise pollution and commercial zones are active 24-7. Hmm. Actually... To develop this area here, we would need to have two commercial areas specialized in leisure and tourism next to each other. And what else we would need there was a big park. I'm very tempted to just destroy this area here completely. But before destroying this area, before destroying this area or thinking about it, um, I would like... Okay, let's check the noise a bit. Yeah, I see. We're good. I see that there is demand for commercial and there is demand for industry. Okay, since there is demand for industry, we're just going to zone in some more like areas here to develop more farmland. Like here and here and create some more job positions. This is going to skyrocket the demand for like um, residentials again. Uh, but what I want to do for residentials is to expand this area since we don't have here We didn't expand more here because we had the noise pollution from the water pumps since the water pumps are here now We could expand this area a bit more and this looks so random what I built in the beginning I might think that I would have to change it, but if we look at the value here This area has some value Who should I call if no one sows to pick up the dead? Yeah, that's a good question. But seems that this area here would be really profitable for me. Hmm. Should we put a beach front before I just plopping down the road actually? Hmm. That's a good question. Maybe we could create a beach front. And uh, hmm. Okay, let's pause the game and beat. Now we have a lot of money anyway. Mm, yeah, there we are. Just delete this part here and create just this. Is it on the money? We're on the money. This is all blue. Oh, it's gonna create like small and strange houses probably. That they are not exactly 4x4 four four. Uh, but okay let's see what will happen here let's see what happens 
And let's try to zone as much as possible here. And see what it will be created there in this waterfront. I don't know if I'm doing correct or not, but this will just have like value raised by like default. So why why not try? And um, here, yeah, okay, so like uh, like this, and then I don't know about this area again. I mean, I start with this area here called like Vermon Heights, but I might have to reconsider. I might have to reconsider my approach. Okay, I'm letting the game just flow right now and see what will happen. I don't see any houses raised here anyway. We will need to extend this area here. The area of reach here. Like something like that. Maybe. These guys were going to need water. This here and here and here. Okay. By the way, I see this small area here. Might be that we want to add another park. I see that our profits are going good. It's just this little bouncy castle park. Uh, to be next to that area here. That will help them like develop even more. This area here is already going very blue. And I guess the commercial zone is going to help them as well. Um, how is our industry going well? Again, our skyrocketing demand for residential. And might be a good idea to add some extra residential summer here, maybe. That would be a good idea. Let's see how our zoning is going here. They do good, they do well. Okay, some nice houses were built here as well. Don't see any major differences between the houses, but nevertheless. So need a few more here. Uh, okay, it's just that the, if every house is four by four, is they're going to look more, let's say, uniform, more like uh, the same style houses, you know. So why not? Can make something like that to look much more beautiful right now. Looks like a seaside resort area, you know, so cool. Uh, the people are using this like I wonder this like play. yes people are working here I love it when they're using the like uh, the paths I'm building okay so I see that probably like my people are leveling up their houses because like um, I see that the demand is pretty low so that's the perfect time for me oh and there's something building here nice Really nice. They need electricity. They should have electricity. What is happening, guys? Why you don't get enough electricity? Maybe I need to fire up the other, like, um, the electricity plant, huh? Or actually, why not to add a few of those? How much is the upkeep for those? 200 per week. And how much is for the coal power plant? 560. Okay, let's add two of those. It won't hurt, I guess. It will make us look a bit more... Oh, I didn't check the window, by the way. But it should be alright. Oh man, no. It should have been here. There. Right on the money. These are producing 10. These are producing 10. We are good to go. And hopefully these guys have electricity now. 
<laughs> they do really nice houses. <laughs> Hopefully they will be able to take even more value and develop them even more. But look, he, these guys buy the beachfront, you know. And all of them as well. How cool. And they have their little yards here. And this umbrella. And oh my god, I would love to have a house like that. Everybody has it like here. And this guy here has a great view, that's why he has built his windows here, to have the great view. How cool. This guy built his windows the opposite way, why? I don't know. Anyway, okay, so I think it's time, it's time uh, to do this. I think we should tear this down. Uh, because it was a bad planning from the beginning. And... Uh, it was like a very... Should I tear down this road? Yes, because it's wrongly placed, but let's do this on the plan, okay? This is a very emotional decision to build this. Bye. That was... <laughs> no strings attached, okay? Just buy. And for now, let's move this park uh, somewhere, let's say, where I will not touch it for a bit. Relocation cost is a thousand. How much is to plop it down? Because I will have to relocate it two times. So I want to put it somewhere else and then back to its place. How much would this be? Uh, let's check. This is park with trees, guys. Oh my god, I'm always opening the wrong ones. It's 5,000. Okay. It's better to relocate it to times. Leave it this now here. It will make them momentarily happy, but it will not last long, guys. Enjoy it as it lasts. So let's tear down this, this, and this, and this, and this. Let's take everything down. Okay, this we need to power this up. And here, and here. And let's make something that first of all is a bit more symmetrical. Hopefully. And now that we have like a lot of land to expand here. And maybe this, this intersection also was too much, you know. Okay, so like here and here and here. Yeah, something like that. It looks a bit ugly here on the end. But it's much better than before, I think. So actually, I might be learning something. And what I should learn is how to place them the correct way. Not to create like... Misunderstandings. So here we need this and this and this. Yeah, something like that would be cool, I guess. And that gives us a nice opportunity to zone in some stuff here as well. And for now, let's take this back like this. Look at it. Much more beautiful than before. Much more symmetrical. Looks beautiful, right? Much better than before. And now we have great potential because now, guys, now, guys, we can build our park. So let's start with the basics of the park. Let's see what parks we could have. We could have like an amusement park, a city park, which has like uh, small cafes and park plazas and park info booth and park chessboard and climbing frame and stuff or an amusement park with like ferris wheels and pendulum rides and roller coasters that looks much better to me but to start with this we first have to zone in a park area okay i would imagine with my little head that the park area would start somewhere like Let's extend like a bit more like this. Let's add 
quite a big amount of it to give it some space. Yeah, for sure they're going to need some electricity here. Yup. And oh my god, this... This looks like a mess. Okay, let's let's redo the whole thing here. Like let's go like this and this and oh we need it just more like here and probably like this and here a bit more. Let's start from here also and go down there. That would be for future use though. We're not burning so much for this area to cover with water, but nevertheless. Let's just cover them here. So let's see let's say that this area here would be like uh, close to the beach would be a park, okay? So how we start is first we have to zone a park. That's how we're going to unlock parks. So we go here and we go to zones and we should find park area, paint park area, okay? So let's say our park area would uh, be like here and here, like here and Pearl City Park and maybe like here. And now that we have the Pearl City Park, uh huh, we can extend this a bit more, I guess. So the Pearl City Park is here. So now we can go to the parks here and we can start it. So we can put a main gate. Let's put it like right here by the street or let's um, think, think about it a bit. Yeah, it would be nice to put it by the street. So let's put it here. Boom! And now we unlocked the park, the amusement park. So we have the amusement park side gate. We have the souvenirs. We have like game pools. We unlocked probably a ton of stuff right now. We're just level one right now. Let's check at the gate. Really nice. Cheer plant. Here we can check details about our park, but still, we is not open yet. And... Uh, where are the stuff here? It is all our stuff here. Okay, so what we can put for now? We can put a park plaza, a park cafe, a souvenir shop, restrooms, and a few game booths, and a carousel, a huge carousel. Huh, perfect. So let's start by finding, let's say, the paths. And let's start here and check our area. So let's say, let's fence off our area first to see. We have some fences, right? So we have the fence here. So let's start by applying fences. Okay, we're a bit off, but we can now like um, use the fence as a guide and just try to mark the area properly, like here. Okay. Mark the bit larger area than we should have, but that's not a problem. Because this amusement part is going to be the main attraction in this area because I always want to tell you that this I want it to be like a touristic attraction area that's my main focus on it right now might be a bit too early but since we are already having like let's say access to uh, intercity buses that bring tourists and potentially a harbor here that would be a nice amusement park actually here and also we could also pump in our own citizens here to start making some early money Yes, by the way, let's, let's try to give electricity to those guys here and not keep them from complaining. So let's start now and just plop down the basic roads of this park. Let's 
plop down a main nice road that runs the entirety of this park. Go straight. Straight, straight, straight till... Uh, come on, I need a big... Nice straight road here. Yay. Beautiful. And probably... Just a bit more here. And here. And here, so make it like a peripheral road around the park, you know, like this. And maybe a connection like here to split it like that. And okay, I guess it's enough. So let's start going on and just plop down some stuff. So first thing we need, we have the gate. Uh, we have the main gate, right? We do have it, I guess. And this is a small gate, yes. That's like a side gate. No, that's a side gate. Wow, we have a lot of gates, actually. But we don't need, we just need one. And now we just need the big plaza. And by the way, that would be a good place right here. To plop down our plaza. Right, and the great thing about the Park Life DLC is that it gives you the ability to plop down uh, stuff that they're not attached to roads. So how cool is that? Okay, we would need to expand our like um, just a tad bit, like. Nine, eight, seven, six, and five. And hopefully the plaza will just fit right in here. Like that. Okay, we don't have this area here yet. And this thing here is not exactly the middle. Didn't pay much attention to it. Because it has like a bit of a strange node there. But I guess this looks okay, not perfectly middle, but just like that. So this would be the main plaza of the park. Looks beautiful. And let's go ahead and add... Um, okay, these are like some like details, uh, detailing. We will do it next episode, actually, we don't have time for that. Let's go and add like two game booths okay and let's m try to make it symmetrical so let's add two game booths one let's say would be here and the other would be like here as well and let's say add and like here and uh, here as well so a few game booths around the central plaza and what else we would need some souvenir shop, restrooms. Okay, let's add another a souvenir shop and let's say... Let's keep it simple actually, let's add a souvenir shop like just behind the booths and the restroom right opposite of it as you're entering the plaza and that's it the first version of our park it's still pretty empty we will need to add the connections here like with electricity and water but for now that's it and this big nice amusement park here amusement park hopefully it will we will manage to like evolve it more and have this like area here like to have like a touristic like flair in it eventually since we now have this access to the sea and uh, yeah i guess guys that was it so this is incomplete but we are going to complete it in the next episode so thank you very much for being here with me in another episode of everyday normal greek and my adventures in city skylines and uh, if you like this video just hit smash the like button and subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell button to take all the latest notifications about my youtube activity on your home page and um, guys thank you very much for being here with me 
uh, in this episode and uh, stay tuned for more content in City Skylines and my liquid adventures and uh, I will see you very very soon by the way my this landfill is empty we're gonna empty all the landfills see you guys and take care bye <laughs>